let's do one more of these uh, weight-based heparin protocol things. Now, let me say again, it's more complex than just this. A lot of these, most of these, will say, okay, that's what you give first, that bolus injection. But then you take some other tests and see this prothrombin time and blah, blah, blah. And if it's so-and-so, you do this. So we're not going there. But when you look at those charts in your book, it's more complex than this. All I'm doing is just this thing. That other stuff in the chart we're not going to go to at this point. Ignore that. All we're doing is this. So I'm supposed to give, now see the numbers may change the, from patient to patient. This doctor may prefer to give you this, give that, whatever. So that's what it says to give. 75 units per kilogram. Now I wish I could look into your notes there. You should write it this way. This over this. And now multiply by the weight in kilograms. Well, seven, uh, 40, 47 pounds divided by 2.2 is 21.4. That's a rounded off number. Well, let's use the one straight from the calculator as is, unrounded off. Is that a word, unrounded off? So 21 point blah, 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 times 75 is 1602.272727, but that's what, kilograms cancel. That's how many units I'm gonna give my patient. But I need to know how many milliliters to put in my syringe to stick my patient with a sharp object, or to put that into his IV line perhaps, okay? No sticking necessary. Now I'll do a plain old dosage calculation. I'm gonna give 1602 units, and I've got a thousand units in every milliliter. Now this part, you should know how to do. That's just dosage calculation. I'm not reviewing this because you should know how to do this already for weeks and weeks and weeks. That cancels this. It's just this divided by that, and I, that's 1.6. Ooh, I can do that in my head. Remember, rounding off rule, if it's more than one, which this is, you round off to the nearest tenth. Let's just show you that big long number, one, two, 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 divided by 1,000 is 1.6023, but 1.6 is the rounded off version of that number. So I'm going to give that patient 1.6 milliliters, and that's what he gets. That's a bolus injection. Well, that's as far as we're going to go now into that weight-based heparin protocol. Let me say it again. And your friends who didn't go and watch this video, they're going to be really confused, and it's their fault, and they deserve it. But the other stuff in that weight-based protocol about doing that PTT, time, all that kind of stuff, ignore that. We're not going there. That's all we need. Okay, good for you.